do I got a treat for you guys today. You probably heard about the issues about the latest uh, DJI Fly app 120 that's causing a lot of problems uh, for you original Mavic Mini owners. You can see a weak connection and all sorts of uh, things happening when flying around. I have addressed this in a couple of live streams that I made here on the channel, which I will of course leave links for in the description below. But during these live streams, I showed you how to downgrade to a previous version if you're running on Android. That kind of left you iOS users a little bit in the dust. One of you guys, Stefan Peterson from Thailand, kindly wrote me an instruction how to downgrade your iOS device from 1.2.0 to 1.1.10. And this is what we are going to try out today. Welcome to another video, I'm Henrik Olsen, and if you want to learn how to make better video with your camera and drone in general, then consider subscribing to my weekly tips, tests and tutorials. Many of you have done that lately, so I'm pretty stoked to see the growth of the tech drone media community. I will walk you through the guide and demonstrate that it actually works. And if you're very nice and watch the video to the end, I will include a link to a website where the whole instruction is uh, written down, including the links that I'll be using, so it'll be very easy for you to do the same. You might be searching for this procedure because you had problems uh, with the Mini 1. And what Stefan Peterson from Thailand is writing is, uh, check this out, maybe this will help some users uh, of iOS using Mavic Air 2, Mavic Mini, the DJI Mini 2, and the downgrade procedure is the same for all iOS devices. Before we start the roadmap procedure, let's jump into the DJI Fly app that's currently installed and verify the version. Under the three dots in the upper corner here, about section, and then we roll down here. So it's one, two, zero. The next step we need to do is to follow the guide and uh, go to a DJI website. If I can make, open the link here. And on this DJI website, you will be, it will be possible for you to download the latest version of the app. We don't want to do that. We want to scroll down here to for older versions, click here. And we are being transferred to a new page that will show a version that's called 1110. You do need to be aware that the app is 224 megabyte, which is slightly larger than what Apple is allowing to download our cellular network. So you might need a Wi-Fi connection to be able to perform this. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go out here and we're going to remove the old app. I'm going to delete that one. Gone. Gone with the wind. Then we go back into this page and we press install. And then install. So it's right now it's actually working on downloading the app, but we will not be able to uh, launch it. Then we just need to wait for it to download. Once the app has uh, finished downloading, then uh, if you press it, you can't really use it as it is right now. We need to go under settings and uh, trust the developer of this app to be able to run it. And scroll down to general. There should be an option down here that says device management. And uh, this is the name of DJI. So we just go in here and we say trust DJI. They have all the information about me anyway, so <laughs> I have no worries about doing that. So, so once that is done, we can go back to the screen where the app is located and we should be able to start it. And now we're starting with all the bells and whistles. Allow, da -da. and this one needs to go away, otherwise we get demonetized for stealing DJI's music. Uh, access, allow, agree, uh, next or not now, and skip, and uh, skip, 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 skip. It's just, <laughs> we're skipping a lot here. So let's just jump in and see if the app has been downgraded. So let's see, let's see the app out. Whoot. Look at this, one, one, ten. So this is how you downgrade the app. Let's just see if it works on, uh, if we actually hook it up to the drone. We might need to downgrade the firmware as well. It's pretty exciting if it works. <laughs> da, 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 da. No need to mess around with the firmware or anything on the drone. I have it here now. So still just double verification. 1110. 
So this was a very, very simple uh, procedure. Let's just do a verification if I can actually start the drone. I can. I won't fly it because it's on my desk. Let's just turn it off. Okay. In case you run into problems, um, Stefan does point out that you might need to use the DJI Assistant 2 to downgrade the firmware for the drone. You might also end up in a situation where you have to pair the remote and the drone again to be able to establish connection. But as you saw in the video, I was uh, not having any of these problems at all. I just needed to perform the downgrade on uh, the iPhone, uh, I think it's an 11XS a version of uh, the iPhone and there was absolutely no problem getting it up and running with the 1.1.10 version of the DJI Fly app. It's super cool when the audience supports the channel by sending in tips like this. So I would highly encourage you if you stumble across something interesting that would make a, a good topic for a video, then uh, send it along. You can find my email under the about section uh, on the YouTube page. Or you can simply go to the Tech Drone Media website and simply write the, the chat box uh, below uh, located somewhere on the page. So this was how easy it was to downgrade uh, on iOS. And a big thank you to Stefan uh, Peterson from Thailand for providing this instruction. It will probably help out a lot of you guys. I would expect they're uh, running the latest uh, 120 that is causing you problems. So it's a very simple procedure. And uh, as uh, mentioned, I've included the links that you need to follow it's located on the Tech Drone Media website and you will be asked to log in uh, on the website to gain access to this information. But I hope that's okay with you. Are you tired of messing around with the Mini 1 and uh, simply want to get up to speed with the latest news on the DJI Mini 2? Then I made a ton of videos about this drone. So uh, in case that you want to check those out, I made a playlist for you that you can access through this card. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.